Look there at verse 6 again. Humble yourselves, therefore, because God opposes the proud, humble yourselves under God's mighty hands that he may lift you up in due time. So it's our responsibility. We must humble ourselves. This is on us. There's a little book uh, called Humility by C.J. Mahaney. I strongly recommend it. If you want a link to it, it's on our website under resources, under recommended reading. You'll find a link there. It's just called Humility. And towards the end of that book, he gives us several practices on how we can produce humility. He says, always reflect on the wonder of the cross of Christ. We see that if we're in the Bible, we're going to see it every week. Even Peter, remember, he keeps pointing us back. Every five verses, he's going to point us back to the cross of Christ. And so we as Christians ought to strive to be cross-centered people. Reading scripture, but even studying the cross, reading books about the cross. Because as we do that, we will become humble. So always do that. But then he says in the mornings, as each day begins, here are some practices. Number one, acknowledge your dependence upon God. Just wake up and the first thought is, there ain't nothing happening today unless the Lord is in it. I can do nothing including swing my legs out of bed if the Lord doesn't allow it. I am completely dependent upon him for everything that this day is going to bring forward. So we acknowledge that too. We express gratefulness. Not only am I dependent upon him, I'm thankful that he's given me air to breathe, lungs to breathe with. My name is written in the book of life. What's going to happen today is going to be from a God hand who loves me, from a father who knows what I need even better than I know it myself. And so we express gratefulness to God. Then we practice the spiritual disciplines as we pray and as we read his word. Humility will ensue. Proud people don't know themselves and don't know their God. So if we practice the spiritual disciplines, we will become more humble. Then he says, seize your commute. So if you've got to drive somewhere in the morning, seize your commute to memorize and meditate on Scripture. I wonder what you do during your commute. I wonder if it is eternally profitable. (laughs) Probably not. And so take advantage of that time and focus on the Lord. And then he says, cast your cares upon the Lord because he cares for you. So that's how to start the day. And then he gives us a few practices on how we can end our day. As each day ends, transfer the glory to God. Anything good happened that day, give God the glory. Lord, we give you the glory for everything that happened today. It was because of you. This went well. It wouldn't have went well because of you. You deserve the glory. This didn't go so well, but I know you're at work in it. You get the glory. And so transfer God, the glory to God. And then finally... Every night, receive the gift of sleep, knowing God's purposes for it. You ever think much about sleep? Do you have a theology of sleep? Personally, sleep is one of the most frustrating things in my life. I could just do so much more without having to lay horizontal for eight hours a day. But the Lord intends for us to acknowledge, I can only go for 12 hours or so, and then I've got to lay down and close my eyes for four-fifths of my life, it feels like. I've got to get eight hours. I would, I've tried six. I crash on like day four. I've got to get seven, eight hours of sleep. God intends for that to humble me. I need sleep. He doesn't. And so that should humble us. Every night we're reminded of our weakness, our smallness. For special focus, C.J. Mahaney says we ought to study some things. We ought to study the attributes of God. Understanding who God is and where we are, that will produce humility. He says we ought to study the doctrines of grace and how gracious God has been to us and how much we need it. We ought to study the doctrine of sin. You're not going to learn about sin turning the television on. If you read your Bible, we can understand more about sin, and obviously that will humble us. And then finally, he says we ought to laugh. We ought to laugh often, and we ought to laugh at ourselves. Humble people laugh. Laugh. 